I'm going to first start talking about our write-up. So I'm trying something different this year with you guys. I'm, instead of having you guys do individual papers to submit to me, individual write-ups, we're trying to do it collaboratively, which we've already discussed. In, in small groups, I, I have you guys assigned to groups. We'll talk about that next. But I want to talk about um, your write-up. So, as we, so I want your write-up to be put into our CI Keys page, which you guys already have access to. Everybody's tried to log on, all that good stuff. Because of the challenges of multiple people logging on, I've created an interim step. And so this is a Google site. Has anybody used Google Sites before? It's basically like a Google document. It's just a, a web version of it, right? So, so just think of it as a Google document. So I sent you guys a link to that. Also, you guys should have, you guys should be able to go to our shared co Google Drive and get at it that way. But, let, but let's not worry about that right now. Let's have a look up here. So everybody has a template. I copied this template into everybody's, uh, we, I, I've organized our analyses based on various themes of our poll. So there's, um, you know, energy and there's seafood and, and pollution, the, the various things that we've been talking about. And so in this case, this is one that, and so everybody's will look basically the same. So you guys are gonna go in, you all have this template, and so you guys can edit this. Now you guys can edit this simultaneously. So rather than having the problem with one person logs on and then nobody else can do anything, this way you guys can all log on and work on it as a group. So my idea is you guys will edit your page here, get it all good to go, and then once it's finally done, one of you guys can just copy the, the text and paste it into the website, right? So that way we, sh we shouldn't have any problems with groups not being able to log on or colleagues not being able to work on it simultaneously with your, your other students, okay? Great. So here we go. So you're going to come on. The first thing is you're going to fill out your, again, this is a template, so I didn't go by and put everybody's name in. But um, here we go. So this is, you're going to say, you know, A, B, and C, the student authors. Um, here's a very interesting cell photograph. So you can delete that and put some relevant photograph related to whatever your, your topic is. And basically, I, I've created this text in black that is sort of the, the prompt for you or, or, or the example of where you'd put it. And then what I'm expecting from you, I put in red text just so it makes more sense. Because again, we haven't done this before, so I don't have any models to give you guys to show you, but I think you guys can figure it out. So, um, so this, okay. Right, so this says, hey, put, put an image in here and have a little caption. All right, so introduction. So introduction, we're talking about one to two paragraphs uh, about whatever the broad setting of your topic. So if you've got oil, you're going to talk about oil um, broadly writ in, this, in the sense of what is oil in the coastal zone, right? Sort of objective fact-based stuff um, and why, why we're interested. So this is our introduction paragraph or two paragraphs. And then overview of the current situation. So this is going to be a couple paragraphs about people's opinions. So what do we know right now? So you guys need to do a little bit of background, a little bit of literature search. What do people, up to the time of our poll, what have people found? How do people, what do people think about this? How do they behave, et cetera? And then just whatever, so and this will be variable because some of you guys will have, you know, two or three questions. Some of you might have four or five, six. It just all depends on your, your topic. But so then you're going to say, okay, here are, the, here are the specific survey questions. Question number 14, say what the question asked, right? So just putting it out there. Should be pretty obvious. And then the results. So, hey, this is, this is what people thought about. This is what the, how they responded for question one. This is how they responded to question two, et cetera. Um, and when you're doing this, you shouldn't just do text. You should give us some kind of visualization. Right? So it's up to you guys in your group to decide how you, th how you think it's most effective. And again, depending on the question, some of you guys have averages and variances. Some of you, you guys have yes, no, proportional data. So it's totally up to you guys, but you need to, to somehow uh, represent that in a table, in a bar graph, whatever, whatever you think is effective to communicate um, wh what people thought about that particular question, that topic. And then interpretation. So again, another, in this case, two or three paragraphs about what does it mean? And so this is, this is interpreting our results for our local area. And here is where you can interject some anecdotal stuff, stuff that you guys, so hey, people seem to really be against oil and gas drilling. And you can go ahead and add in some of the uh, observations you made or the impressions you gleaned when you were doing the survey 
you know, or anybody in your group was doing the survey, right? Oh yeah, people laughed at this question or, or people were really angry and stomped off when they got to this question and they said, how dare we ask, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. And then you guys are just gonna boil that down into a one or two sentence takeaway at the very end. So summarize. So in general, people really love oil and gas in the coastal zone. In general, people are very ambivalent, whatever, whatever the case may be. And, and I want you guys, as you guys are putting in evidence, you know, support, like everything else, you guys can use whatever is appropriate as long as you cite that. So when, in the text, I'm thinking you guys will probably embed hyperlinks to whatever those references are. But just because we're following good standard practice, um, I also want you guys to include those references at the end, right? And again, just like with our, our, our pre-midterm question and that stuff, author year in the text and then do the full citation at the end. Does that make sense? Okay, so here are the groups. And I, and I sent you guys this, you guys have this as a PDF. I sent this before class started, so you guys have this thing. And again, again, you guys have the link to the actual page, but, but just, but, but the, the page that I sent you guys doesn't have the red part in the, 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 the pages that I set up just have the black. This red part was to help me give you a little bit more expectation for what I'm looking for, a little more guidance. Cool? All right. Okay, so here we go. So here, here are the groups. So I, I put everybody in, every topic has a group of three people. And so I also emailed this to you guys. So here you be. Um, so most of you guys expressed this is one of the interests you guys had in your, in your subject. A few people didn't, a few people had multiple things they were interested in. So I, 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 I binned you into one where I needed some more people. And then a couple people didn't give me any feedback a couple weeks ago when we did this. So those people I just kind of randomly threw into different categories. Sorry, Merry Christmas, Happy Halloween.